I'm here to, to show uh, the result of a one year uh, ago uh, starting work on the development of an environment, uh, a visual environment, to give uh, teachers, professionals, the power to create and find their own materials for a multimodal application. Uh, uh, starting for, uh, with uh, mobile, uh, uh, mobile devices, but as the slide shows, I want to start it with once upon a time in a mobile world, because today uh, it's not only a mobile world where we are developing, but in a, a world in which they are emerging uh, different gesture uh, interaction devices, gadgets, wearables, and all kinds of um, gadgets, of devices that are programmable, that you can exploit in your uh, educational environment, but many times you have not the computing and programming capabilities to program these, the APIs of these devices. And all this is for communists, it's now uh, around us with a lot of different uh, devices. Some of them we have, we have tested and uh, headed for uh, a future um, in a civil physical uh, brand new world where uh, uh, educational environment would be something like uh, this or even more complex. Uh, and where is the teacher in all this uh, world? Uh, um, where we, most of us, you know, teaching uh, activity uh, using PowerPoint slides, using uh, good raw material, uh, and inviting uh, our students to do things like this. Minute. Um, you can take notes and they take their devices and you uh, are using just post PowerPoint. Uh, and, uh, and what about assessment? That is where we are focused, and that's the, uh, the life motive of, of, of this paper, is uh, with this material, how do we approach assessment? Uh, so the, the digital assessment is, is coming, it's now. It is, it's not coming, it's, it's we do that. And in the world of learning analytics. So with all of these different technologies, trends, tendencies, uh, realities. Uh, we, uh, the motivation of our work is uh, to summarize it is to give teachers, in this case, uh, to give the the capability of drive the technologies are not be driven by technologies. Uh, but this is a common common uh, common issue in the computational thinking side. It's a, a very interesting track in this conference about these issues and that's what motivated, motiva motivates us. Uh, in the very well, well explained in the book by uh, Douglas Rushkov, uh, Program or B Program. Uh, the focus of our work is uh, on three points because there are many, plenty of, of devices and trends. Three main points are mobile devices, augmented reality uh, uh, scenarios, and gestural interventions. And to uh, scenarios built around all of these technologies, we want to provide learning analytics capabilities uh, to involve teachers in uh, the creation of their own uh, their own uh, scenarios using all of these capabilities. Uh, there are existing tools, there are state-of-art tools to do this. Some of them are for programmers, some of them for non-programmers. Uh, for non-programmers they are far, uh, far more limited, for programmers they are more uh, powerful, but you need to know how to program them, and many times you don't have this, th those programming skills. Uh, so the general hypothesis for work is to uh, is that uh, the visual programming languages can help to develop creative computing abilities to build this extended scenario. Extended just to say, to explain with our uh, all these uh, complex uh, 
devices, wearables, bodily scenarios. And in these uh, visual programming languages, the, the, the most used is possibly the language behind Scratch. Scratch, MIT App Inventor. So we, we didn't aim to invent a new visual language, but to use an existing language and send it. Uh, there are plenty of uh, visual languages for, for the education. There are all uh, different flavors around Scratch. And Scratch are the blockly uh, core of um, of uh, uh, visual language from, from Google. And uh, the antecedents of we want to present in this, in this uh, occasion is VEDES. The VEDES environment, you, can, you have it available there, VEDES.UCA.S, uh, which, which is a uh, learning environment that we have built on top of App Inventor. App Inventor helped us to provide many things, systems, uh, with um, readily read available mobile and tablets, with text to speech, cameras, the players, sensors inside the, the mobile, etc. That's built, and on top of this, we uh, augmented, we extended it with uh, augmented reality capabilities that hide the Euphoria uh, uh, APIs, for instance. The uh, um, uh, set of palette, a palette of components to explain gesture and interactions on top of leap motion, the leap motion device API, API. Uh, and uh, the focus of this work is the the the, the, the very last uh, developed uh, component that is the learning analytics component that is built on top of uh, a Google Fusion tables that uh, compiles all the interactions that. Uh, happens uh, with all of these uh, elements. This specific objective is the section of our BEDIS environment, BEDIS augmented environment, uh, to build learning analytics apps for mobile devices. Uh, we have built a mm, new palette of elements to uh, explain, to set, to, to provide the, 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 the user, the author, to define simple queries, aggregated queries, to define data tables, and to define charts, and to put them on a mobile uh, interface. Um, you can select which type of events you want to, uh, to be tracked, uh, or, or to track all the events, and to compile all the data to a uh, uh, further analysis. Uh, uh, or you, you want to uh, focus the action, I want to inspect this particular type of event, of element that comes from, from a, a button in, a, in the screen, or comes from a gesture detected by the leap motion, or something. Uh, we have built this activity tracker uh, um, um, uh, on top of, of well, uh, using uh, AspectJ uh, elements that uh, enables us to to uh, increase or augment the App of Inventor uh, environment without, uh, without uh, uh, having to modify directly the code, but uh, um, programming the aspects and uh, uh, augmenting the, the capability of tracking of all the things that happen in App of Inventor. Uh, um, and uh, so we uh, track for the learning analytics components our extended components, augmented reality, etc., but also the existing components of APP method. And we feed the Google Fusion tables with um, many, many elements mm, that we can track. Mm, I, I go very, very fast here because I will better show you a, a last video with them of this. This is the, the user interface where uh, the author states what and he wants to be tracked, and how he wants to deploy the charts, the data table, etc., on the screen. Uh, to evaluate this this uh, artifact, we have developed uh, several uh, you know, several case, case studies. Uh, you can find more, more information on these case studies on the web page of the Bedis project. Uh, I will show you just two. Briefly, two case studies. One of them is described in the paper because it's the one which we have uh, implemented the learning analytics component. And another is not in the paper, but uh, I think it's uh, 
is useful to, to, to make an idea of what the environment uh, uh, allows. Uh, this is a, a case study of using this uh, tool used, used uh, by a teacher of uh, English language for any English or German language for any uh, language learning uh, that developed a simple uh, a simple application to uh, implement the game uh, who am I game uh, very typical in learning languages where which, uh, you put on uh, on your head on the picture of a very well known character and you go talking with your colleagues and you have to guess who is the the character with based on the description of your course. So she programmed with uh, with Reddit, she, she programmed this uh, uh, this uh, element using augmented reality with uh, in this case with with markers mm -hmm. uh, capabilities. Reddit uh, also provides you um, uh, the chance to 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 use uh, image recognition or text recognition, but in this case it was easier with the markers. And we usually work with, the, with German students, German language students. Uh, here you can see a um, map that, that uh, Google Vision Tables provides you based on the uh, data that we feed into uh, of where did they play. Uh, it's too far away the, the computer to, to show, but uh, most of the people uh, play in the, in the faculty of philosophy. But some of them, this is Cadiz, some of them uh, emerged that they were playing in the, in the sea, not in the seaside, but in the sea, they were fishing or something, you know, and played on some mistake in the detection. Uh, uh, and based on this, we built a learning analytics external component, external to the mobile application, in which uh, uh, based on Pentaho to further analyze post analysis of what, ha what happened with this game. So she could find out which kind of characters uh, were more difficult to guess, uh, the number of, of, of attempts, uh, to, just to replace the, the characters in another edition of the course, etc. But this was a, a desktop application, very, uh, very. Um, could not be used to to know the the learning analytics uh, uh, possibilities uh, during the game. So we develop we develop uh, in a different case study this same uh, objective goal, but uh, embedded in the mobile using the new tools. The second uh, case study was developed in the in the University of Algar with the students of mechanical engineering, student of design one class, and to lay foundations of uh, perspectives and, and this kind of things in technical drawing. And the teachers developed with the help in this case with the help of computer uh, computer science people develop an application to implement this uh, introduction, the deployment of some kind of uh, some uh, uh, augmented reality 3D elements embedded in the in the in the mobile and some questionnaires and the learning analytics new components. This uh, were uh, developed uh, for this uh, case study but in this case they were developed included by computer science people. That's the point that they, they were not, the aim is that the, the mechanical engineering teacher, teacher develops this, but in this case, were developed by us, not by them. <laughs> we hope, and that's future work, that it, it, it can be developed and tested with uh, actual teachers that are not computer scientists. And these are elements that you can draw. Huh? I will go to the conclusions. Uh, we, uh, I think, are easing the registry of using interactions with deep components and to visualize the uh, assessment information, assessment relevant information from a dashboard or from the app. That is our current focus. And we want to uh, extend the testing these new elements of methods with actual users. 
uh, at, at, at all teachers, not computer scientists, and to further integrate with data mining libraries to ease the interpretation of this assessment. Uh, just show a very short video of Dot, you can, dot, 